What's up YouTube, BMR here, and today I wanna to talk about tie rods and tow rods. So what are these parts, what do they do? Let's go ahead and start up front with a tie rod. So a tie rod goes into the front of your car and it influences your steering characteristics. So your knuckles sit into the holes on each side of the tie rod and it will allow you to change the, the tilt of the wheels. So with a zero degree setting, both your wheels will be neutral and pointing straight forward. But if you have a positive setting, your wheels will start to point inwards. You want a positive setting if you're running a racing Mini Z. It'll basically give you a little bit more understeer, so it'll make the car a little bit less twitchy. When we're running a drift setup, we want to either have a zero degree setup or a negative setup because a negative on both wheels. So on a negative setup, we have the wheels pointing outwards and what this will create is an oversteering situation. And that's what you want for drifting is you want to over exaggerate your oversteering as much as possible. So I went ahead and got a PN Racing, a negative uh, tie rod up front. Um, this part was incredibly hard to find. I had to order it all the way from France, from RC Orange. Um, but they were the only carriers that I was able to find that had this in stock. So this part was pretty pricey. It's actually one of the more expensive parts on my car and it should have been one of the cheapest ones, but whatever, I'm a, I'm a freak about my colors. I wanted to have orange and blue matching parts. So this was my only option. Um, you can also go with Eagle Racing. I've seen they have a negative one and also a negative two degree. So you'll be able to exaggerate that even more with the two degree. Uh, I'll probably pick that up in the future with my phase two upgrades for my Mini Z. Uh, when I get some Eagle Racing parts, I'll go ahead and try their tie rods out too. Just to check the tolerances of these holes, see how the knuckles feel in the holes, compare them side by side. I'll, I'll make a video about those in the future. All right, let's talk about the tow rod. So this goes in the back of your car, and again, it will influence the angle uh, that your back tires are at. Uh, with the stock setup, it comes with a 0.5 degree positive setting. I've only seen positive settings for these. I haven't seen any zero degree or negatives. Um, so anyways, I went ahead and got a 0.5 degree because the tighter you pull it in, I guess the higher degree you go in, it'll pull your wheels in more and that'll make your car a lot more squirrely. It'll... So that's why I went with a 0.5 is because it will have the closest thing to a neutral setting for me. And that'll allow me to hold my slides the easiest and allow me to exit the corners the easiest. Um, maybe in the future I'll play with my tow rods, but for now I'm just going to play it safe go with as close to neutral as I can. So that's about it for tie rods and tow rods. Uh, once again, they'll influence your steering characteristics. They'll either have your tires pointing neutral, in for positive, out for negative. For a drift setup up in the front, you wanna have a negative setting. For the rear, you wanna have as close to neutral as possible, and that'll help keep your car as stable as possible and help influence your oversteering just a tiny bit. Um, again, you can shop around with different companies. Uh, you can go down, I've seen as low as a negative two degree bar up front. So I'll probably end up picking up one of those in the future. So anyways, just play around with the parts, guys. Find a setup that works best for you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you find it informative and I'll see you guys next time.